Good morning, PHS. Today is November 16, 2017. Welcome to this week's edition of PTV. I'm Zandra Curtis. And I'm Kelsey Vance. Thank you for joining us. Now it is time for your SRT and after school meetings that we need to share. BPA, you guys are meeting in room 108. Bridge Bus, you are in room 218. Spanish Club, you are all meeting in room 116. And from 3.30 to 5.30 p.m., after school, robotics is meeting in room 141. Moving along to our recap of our trivia question from last week, we asked you, what did the famous Hollywood sign located in Los Angeles originally say? Congratulations to Mr. Hatch's room, who was chosen by a random selector via email. His class had a winning answer, which was Hollywood Land. You guys be expecting your tasty prize because it's on the way now. And speaking of tasty prize, here's video of Mr. Connor's SRT classroom who won our PTV trivia contest the week prior, getting their prize delivered last week. Special thanks to PTV's video journalist, Sandra Kurtz, for capturing the video of our winning class. And be sure to stay tuned for this week's trivia question coming up soon. Moving on to what we will be having for lunch today, the lunch ladies will be serving up country fried steak, mashed potatoes with gravy, dinner rolls, and your choice from the fruit and veggie bar. Seniors, if you want to have your full picture retaken, Life Touch and Seth Bend will be holding retakes at the studio located at 2045 East Ireland Road in South Bend next Monday from 4 to 7 p.m. Also, any student in your grade who missed retake day, you would want to have get your photo taken as well. Please have parents call Life Touch at 574-299-9393 to schedule an appointment if you are interested. Starting in February, advanced child development students at Plymouth High School run a play, play school twice a week. Children participating in play school are preschool age children from our community. Our staff and students are planning creative activities for play school 2018. The instructor, Caitlin Dean, is currently looking to add to the advanced child development supplies to enhance this year's play school. The program is looking for the following new or gently used items. Children's dress up clothes, play kitchen and play food toys, play tool bench and tools, plastic toy animals, magnifying glasses, magnets, any sorting toys that can be used for math or numbers and or shapes and colors, toy musical instruments, bongos and tambourines, any other age three to five toys that are in gently used condition will be accepted with open arms. The program is also in need of storage bins. You are welcome to drop items off at Plymouth High School in the front lobby during school hours. Going on until tomorrow, don't forget that you guys can purchase a feather at lunch from Alpha Delta Row for 25 cents or five feathers for a dollar to give to a teacher of your choice. Alpha Delta Row members post the trickies on teachers' doors the teacher with the most feathers come tomorrow gets to donate half the money they earned to a charity of his or her choice. A daily feather count will be announced to see who's in the lead each day. Plus, your teachers really love it when you write next questions to show you care. It's one small way you can show your appreciation for all the staff's hard work at PHS. Make sure your favorite teacher has a feather from you. So far, Mr. Norman, Mr. Hatcher, and Ms. Moore are all battling this contest out with the most feathers. Students enrolled in the advanced Chinese classes are volunteering their time at the Plymouth Public Library on upcoming Saturdays to help anyone learn the language. The hour-long class started this past Saturday and they will be back at it again on this Saturday and again on the 18th. Students will be reading Chinese stories and teaching the public how to write in Chinese from 10 to 11 a.m. in the Larmore Room of the Library. It's time to look at what's making news in the world of sports. Stay tuned for Chase Sports and see who will be taking on the one minute one on one this week. This is Drew Tranquil, linebacker with Notre Dame Football, and you're watching PTV Sports. Back by Power to Me is our PTV one minute one on one segment. This week, we shine the light on another P Plymouth High School athlete. Let's take a look at who's in the one-on-one -on -one seat this week. I'm PTV's Josie Coons, and this week, I joined with Bow Matters to do the PTV's one-minute one-on-one. What is your favorite sport? Track. What's your favorite subject? Um, math. What is one sport you would never play? 
that's tough. Um, probably golf. Do you like to read or write more? I like to write. What movie do you think is terrible? Um. Are you excited for Thanksgiving? Yes. What's your favorite Thanksgiving food? Turkey. If peanut butter wasn't called peanut butter, what would it be called? Brown, brown paste. What is your favorite color? Blue. Do you sleep with or without socks? I sleep without socks. What is your middle name? Forrest Anthony. Toilet paper over or under? And over. How long have you gone to Plymouth Schools? Five years. Stay tuned for our next show when we will bring in another athlete to do the PTV's One Minute One-on-One. -on -one. Next up, the PTV Sports Rundown for today. At 5 p.m., the PHS girls swim team will travel to Bremen. At 6 p.m., the 9th grade girls basketball team will be at home taking on Northwood. And also at 6 p.m. in the varsity gym, our varsity girls basketball team will take on Triton for their first home game of the season. So come on out and cheer on the Lady Pilgrims and show them some love. This year, the rock pile, you may have seen local business and family names on various buildings and items at the complex. That's because there are many sponsorship opportunities outside and around the new area where fans gather throughout the year. Plymouth High School careers marketing students Brianna Dillard and Anna Height continue our Rock Pile Spotlight sponsor series by introducing you to another community sponsors. Today we are shining the spotlight on Ruoff manager Steve Hissong for our Spotlight Sponsorship Series. Steve Hissong and the local Ruoff Home Mortgage Team sponsored this planter that sits outside the Rock Pile Home entryway. The Ruoff Home Mortgage Office in Plymouth is located at 552 Oak Drive. We asked Steve Hissong, the Vice President and Branch Manager, why his office decided to be a Rock Pile sponsor. Let's see what he has to say. Ruoff has been in this community for approximately five years and we wanted to give back and support the local students and the high school and school corporation in this area. Having it right at the entrance of the rock pile really is a nice way for everybody to see that we can support this great organization. Plymouth High School would like to thank Ruoff Home Mortgage Office in Plymouth for their dedication and commitment to Plymouth High School. If you are a business owner or community member who is interested in a Rock Pile sponsorship, please contact the Plymouth Community School Corporation's Marketing Department at marketing at plymouth.k12.in.us. I'm Anna Height with this special Rock Pile Spotlight Sponsorship Series. Guys, if you are not participating in a winter sport but you are interested in playing baseball this spring, Coach Ryan Wolf wants you to stop by his room and get a winter workout schedule. If you received one at the meeting last week, he says there is no need to stop by. Winter workouts will start in December. Now it's time for everyone's favorite part of the show. Yeah, that's right. It's PTV trivia time. This week our question has to do with Thanksgiving. We all know what Thanksgiving is about, but have you ever wondered what president made Thanksgiving an annual holiday? If you know the answer, tell your SRT teacher, fire up their email, and submit your class answer to phsmarketing at plymouth.k12.in.us. Again, the trivia question is, what president made Thanksgiving an annual holiday? Good luck to all the classrooms participating. And remember, the winning class is rewarded with a huge tasty prize and just as awesome a visit from our PTV crew. Just a reminder that next week, we only have two days of school due to Thanksgiving. That means we will not be having a show, so listen to the daily podcast on Monday and Tuesday next week to hear about everything going on. Well, thank you guys for joining us for this week's edition of PTV at PHS. I'm Xandra Curtis. And I'm Kelsey Vance. See you in two weeks, PHS. Have a great Thanksgiving break.